It's an issue the city has talked about for years and one you might have even run into yourself when you're out and about in the city. Now Columbus is spending millions of federal dollars to fix the problem. NBC4's Isabel Cleary shows us the problem the city is trying to address. The problem we're talking about is public restrooms or lack thereof, but that's about to change. In just a matter of weeks, the city plans to have public restrooms with running water open and ready to go. Three years and $2 million later, three public bathrooms are now in place in downtown Columbus. We knew we had to have something finally that would uh, you know, allow people the dignity and the comfort and convenience of, of having restroom facilities available where and when they need them. The stalls are built to avoid some issues. The slats at the bottom keep it just public enough so security patrols can make sure no one is sleeping or taking drugs. Wise, the plan is for a team to come three times a day. In the beginning, it was really trying to just get people comfortable with that conversation. Some did raise concerns with one business filing a lawsuit. The um, temporary restraining order was thrown out and we were given the ability to proceed. I do know that there is an appeal process underway, but it did not obligate us to stop construction. Building continued, but with some bumps. The pandemic drove up the cost. Costs of materials and construction skyrocketed. Um, and in addition to that, uh, we initially didn't understand what the cost would be uh, for the, the difficulties of digging in the streets. But now it's all about getting the doors ready to open. We know there will be problems. We anticipate that. The key is planning for them. And uh, I have to say I'm surprised at how limited those problems have been. And so I'm, I'm optimistic that, that we're going to have the same kind of success here that we've seen in other cities. The bathrooms will undergo a final inspection and approval, and then they'll be ready to go. The city leaders say they're aiming for the end of October. Local for you in downtown Columbus, I'm Isabel Cleary, NBC4.